guys welcome back to my channel happy vlogmas day eight time is flying i have a small dollar tree haul for you um uh, did i show this walkthrough i want to feel like i showed this walkthrough i'm just trying to figure out I, okay this is new truck day finds yes this is new truck day finds i will put the walkthrough in the comments this is what i picked out from that haul let's just get into it so i had seen these flashlights on a dollar tree haul and i wanted them not only do you get the front light but there's also a side light she did a test and they are very bright and what she suggested was she got the orange one because if you have it in a drawer let's just say you have it in a drawer because you want to be able to find things the bright orange would stick out so i got one of each you can't have enough flashlights god forbid even to put in your car maybe that's really a better spot give one to i spy to put in his truck and one for me i think that's where they're gonna go and they take of course you have to add your own batteries it's super bright 50 lumens but what size batteries triple a three triple a batteries okay so it's good to keep in the car i finally broke down and got the center left center right this dice game never played it before i hear it's a lot of fun these are selling out going crazy i've said this before some of you are new but i've been saying this actually for years that if you have to buy for a family money's tight you can give a family gift basket you can do a game night basket you could do a movie night basket um, put snacks and stuff like that you could do a bath basket Dollar Tree has some amazing name brand um, toothbrushes, toothpaste. You can get toothbrush, new toothbrushes and toothpaste for the whole family, mouthwash and stuff like that. I mean, that's not as exciting as maybe a game night basket. Um, but you definitely can make a game night basket at Dollar Tree because they have that three-in-one board game now. Then they have the other um, board games um their paper and the pieces are small but still you could put together they have the family feud cards um trivia cards and stuff like that so i did pick this up don't know how to play it never played it before but might play it one day i don't think it's a, a waste for my chunk of monk i'll be putting this in his christmas package this is a hot wheels rapid race parts truck it looked new and interesting, so I did get that, and that will go in his Christmas package. There are a couple of new wipes circulating around Dollar Tree. This They have that big tub of 160, and Pookie's View did haul it, and she showed that they were sealed. The last time I bought some multi-purpose cleaning wipes in one of those 160-count tubs, mine had mold on them, and I ended up taking them back. But these wipes... I'll give them a try. It's just quick cleanup. It says for sticky surfaces, dirt and mess, doorknobs, exterior toilet bowls, um, tables and countertops. You can't beat it. So I did pick it up. There is another variety. The other one said gentle. This one says fresh. So let me know if you've hauled them. Um, this is a win. I tried this in my shower this morning or last night? Last night. I loved it and I was concerned that the holes on the bottom for the um, body wash were going to be too big. They aren't. I thought as soon as I poured the my shower gel in it, it was going to run out. No. What I do notice is I felt like, oh, there's a little happy face. Somebody said they've seen these on Amazon. Same exact ones with the happy face. Um, could be a third party seller, but these just hit Dollar Tree, but still it could have been a third party seller that got them first and posted them on Amazon and I think they're marketing them as pet cleaners which you could but this this was really a nice experience so I felt like what I had to do to get the soap to come out you see these two round buttons on the side I felt like I had to kind of compress them a little bit and once I did that the shower wash the shower gel came out nice and easy it was really nice guys I think you will enjoy this and I'm definitely putting this in a bath gift basket basket that I'm making yeah so you pop the, this top off you add your shower gel or your soap of choice or whatever 
and uh, put the cap back on. And I felt like these two circles, once I pressed it a little bit, the shower gel would come out. But still, the bristles were nice and soft. It just felt really nice. So be on the lookout for these. And if you hold these or you were thinking about gifting them, don't be afraid. I think this is a great deal for $1.25. This was disappointing. I hold the Spa Luxury um, Vanilla Sugar um, Lotion and they're not sealed, okay? So I was able to do a sneak sniff and I thought this was the best scent. It kind of gave me a headache, guys. Um, it stinks. I, I'm not going to lie to you. I don't like it. I don't know what I was thinking in the store. Maybe I was a little stuffy, but it does not smell good. And none of the other ones really smell good to me either. Um, lotion texture wise, it feels good on the hands. I don't even want to, I just don't like the smell, y'all. It feels good on the hands. This is going to be a work lotion. Something that, because I'm washing my hands every five minutes, this is going to be a, a, a work lotion. I would not gift this to anybody. I don't even want it for myself. I don't like it. <laughs> The smell is, ugh, it gives me a headache. I don't even know why I put it on my hands. But you could have it. Not interested. Not interested. That was my worst buy in a while. Now, food-wise, didn't get a lot, but I finally got the pineapple mustard. And I did finally find it last year. Like tour, I think I found it after Christmas last year. Hold it, was too scared to try it. I know. Um, they have all different kinds of mustard, guys. Coming up in a Rocky Mount shop with me, I found all of the mustards. So I did get it. It's from Old World. Somebody said in the comments, I'm not sure if it was Instagram or YouTube, that they sell Old World at Big Lots. And I got some pretzels because I love eating mustard and pretzels. So I'm going to break down and I'm going to try. I'm going to try the mustard. Also down the food aisle, they have these new Oreos. These little packs, this is, I don't know how many, you get six cookies. I think I'm going to pick up a couple of more packs um, because I'll put it in Chunk's Christmas package. But how cute are these? So I got them. I think it was Aldi's and I think Oreo used to have a peppermint um, filling. And they were good. They were really, really good. A candy cane-like filling. And Aldi's had a dupe for Oreos with a candy cane filling. I have to go to Aldi's. I haven't been to Aldi's this whole season. I, I see such great things and I say I'm going and I have not been. I'm lying. I did go in there to buy more of that Hawaiian stuffing, but I just, I was on a mission. So I was in and out. Okay. But, um, yeah, I'm going to look to see, has anybody tried the Oreos with the candy cane filling? They are delicious. So, um, this I think just has the red food coloring, but I am going to pick up another one, uh, for chunks package. And the fine, the fine, my favorite find of this haul, and I'm going to try it before we end this video, is this uh, Harry and David's coffee. I love the vanilla cream brulee. I went crazy. I do have a big supply of that. And I have the K-cup adapter where I could use ground coffee, so I am going to make me a cup. Years ago at the Christmas tree shop, I found chocolate peanut butter coffee from Victor Allen's in K-Cups and it was in a box of 12. I used to get my coffee when I lived in New York from the Christmas tree shop all the time. They had such great deals on K-Cups. The best deals I thought. Them and Big Lots back then. And um, I only bought one box because I, I wasn't sure. Well, boy, did I regret it. Brewing, it smelled so good. And I liked it. And that was from Victor Allen. So I can't wait to try this Harry and David's one. And when I went back to Christmas tree shop to get more, it was gone. And then the only way I could have got it is if I bought it in this big, like 72 count box of variety. And I really wasn't crazy about the other varieties. It's like, I only wanted that one. But this is maple vanilla. And this is the chocolate peanut butter. So I will be making a cup. I cannot wait. When we end this video... Those are all of my food finds. I shared these metal containers in a short. Look how cute they are. Now, of course, you can use this for gift packaging, but somebody, again, not sure if it was YouTube or Instagram, um, because my IG family is very interactive as well. You, They send me a lot of things. She suggested 
to put the Christmas wax melts in here. And that is a fabulous idea because I bought that gingerbread, well, I Spy bought me the gingerbread wax melter and I just have wax melts like in the plastic containers. You still can keep them in the containers, but put it in here. And this way, if you sit it out, it's, look how cute, it's, it's decorative. It's decor. So I will be using this to put my Christmas wax melts, okay? Because I don't have a gift in mind to put in here. And then I'm so selfish with the gingies. I wouldn't want to give it up anyway, guys. <laughs> I'm not lying. Okay, so I got this. And then this one. Now, this one I have not seen anywhere. I'm not sure if this is leftover from last year or they took this at, out of the back of the stock room because it is banged up, y'all. It has some dents. I had to straighten it out, but I wasn't going to leave it behind. I've never seen this one before. Look at this, guys. It's beat up. I have not seen this. Please let me know in the comments if you've seen this at a local Dollar Tree this year. I have not. And I have, since I found it, I have been looking. I definitely will get another one. What am I going to put in here? I don't have plans. But I wasn't going to leave it behind. <laughs> I love it. I really, really love it. Um, And I know I have more stuff. Hold on. Okay, then I found this official cookie tester now this is a gift card box okay you definitely can use it for what it's intended on on the inside is where you put the gift card and then it has like to from and a message really really cute but I was going to use this for some kind of <laughs> gingy DIY I just think it is so freaking cute it's in the gingerbread brown that is why I got it. Um, so if you are giving a gift card to somebody, this is really cute packaging. I really, really like it. Again, you could use it for what it's intended for, but I think I would like to find something that I could use or make DIY out of this. I don't know if I'll get to it this year. I don't, but I got it. And you know, it's so hard, guys, and they had plenty. They actually had four cases, so I don't feel bad. They came home with me. And again, so easy to personalize them for any holiday by just removing the Christmas scarf. And um, I shared a picture yesterday, somebody on TikTok, she took the scarves off and she put on these new scarves using, um, she took the fabric from those hair curlers. You ever see those spiral curlers, those long rods? Well, in Dollar Tree, she found some that had these colors like purple, plain. They were neon, not pastel. I said pastel, but they were like neon colors. She got matching um, beads and gave them buttons and gave them a button nose. So she changed the nose and gave them buttons. So definitely be on the lookout. You will be seeing some Valentine's Day gingies and some Easter gingies from me. And like I have the Christmas ones in my tree, I'm not making them... I'm not using the same gingies for um, other holidays. Those are my Christmas gingies. I'm collecting my Valentine's Day gingies and my Easter gingies and whatever else. But I'm definitely going to incorporate them into my seasonal decor year round. Absolutely love them. And I showed you some clips in another video. It's a thing. I, I'm not the first one to think of a Valentine's Day gingerbread house. Apparently, it is a thing. I even seen a full gingerbread house. Okay, so... I'm not the, it's, it's an obsession for, for many. Okay. And, um, thumbnail. I don't know if that's going to be my thumbnail, but those are my babies. Speaking of which, I really wish this was a different background color. This has been in Dollar Tree. I've seen it many times. I think I've been showed it on a walkthrough. This is their gingerbread scarf that they gave us this year with hot cocoa on it and gingies and candy canes. I wish it wasn't blue, but it is. So I'll pair it and rock it, you know. I'll rock it for the gingies. Picked up my favorite razors. They come in a two pack. They do have a short women's six blades, but those nick me every time. What is it? Any of the Dollar Tree women's razors, I always get nicked. The men's razors, I don't get nicked. I don't know. These are my favorite, so I, I don't know. So, Be Pure has had a cherry lip balm, and I've seen this display at, on walkthroughs, but i never seen the full display, and I did not know I wasn't seeing the full display. 
Well, there's a lip scrub, a lip gloss, but I've never seen the um, tinted lip balm. So I decided to get it. I don't know. I don't have high hopes, low hopes. I just got it. And um, cherry tinted lip balm. Yes. Yeah, so this is a part of the cherry lip collection from Be Pure. And we are winding down to the last item. Uh, this Martinelli's apple cider, apple mango. That's going to be an interesting combination. Um, so I did pick this up. They did have other flavors, but this one was the most intriguing. I do like their apple cider. And that is my haul, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Stay tuned if you're interested in the review of the Harry and David's Milk Chocolate Peanut Butter Coffee. I'll try the Maple Vanilla another day. Um, I purchased four bags. Okay, and I have since at other stores purchased more of the chocolate peanut butter. It's four ounces. I can't wait to try it. And um, who knows? Maybe this might be in the December monthly. Wow. And I did find the hot chocolate K-Cups from M&M's. That's coming up in the next walkthrough. And just a sneak peek, I did try them, and they are good. So be on the lookout. They have a lot of, like I said, where they fell off drastically in the $1.25 Christmas decor. They made up for it in the gift options this year. So let's make some coffee. Guys, as soon as I opened the bag, it smelled so yummy. So I use these clamps down the um, jot stationary aisle to uh, plant my coffee bag. I have my K-cup adapter. I don't know where the one is that came with the machine but i got these on amazon and it came in a pack of six so if you're giving bag coffee for christmas and you don't know if they have a k-cup or if they have a traditional coffee maker you could toss one of these in if you want to be generous okay so let's make some coffee I'm going to use my uh, Sweet and Creamy International Delight as a sweetener. I use agave nectar. I don't use white sugar. This is my main sweetener unless I'm baking and something calls for white sugar, agave nectar. You don't need a lot. I like my coffee light. I hope this is good, y'all. I can't wait. I like it. It smells so good. I'm not really getting the... Um, I'm getting the peanutty flavor. I don't know if I'm getting the chocolate. Definitely tasting the peanut. It's not bad. It's, it's, it's an enjoyable cup of coffee. It's a cup of coffee that I will enjoy. However, I have to keep it real with you. I prefer that Northwest blend better. And I'm so shocked because I never thought I would like nutmeg, hazelnut. I'm not a hazelnut cream person. I do not like hazelnut. I can tolerate it, but that's not my preference. But So let me know if you've tried it. Let me know what your thoughts are, okay? I'll see you guys in the next video. Happy Vlogmas Day 8. I'm trying to power through it, guys. I'm trying to do it. See you soon in the next video. Bye-bye.